do Justin Timberlake, P. Diddy, Ludacris, Willie Nelson, Sammy Hagar, uh, Snoop Dogg, and Drake, and George Clooney all have in common? They all endorse some alcoholic beverage for big, big money. And tonight's review is a review of Virginia Black, which is endorsed by Drake, a rap star. Canadian rap. I mean, he's a Canadian uh, rapping big time in the U.S. and I guess internationally. He's also an actor and he's quite talented. Well, now he has launched with a business partner, a whiskey called Virginia Black. Now, before we go any further, this whiskey is not produced in Virginia, and it's simply called Virginia Black Decadent American Whiskey. I don't normally read bottle labels or packaging, but it's relevant tonight. Okay. So on the back of this bottle, it says, American whiskey, not from Virginia. No, it's not from Virginia. Virginia Black is from Indiana. It's produced by MGP. MGP in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, produce whiskey uh, for various brands. Basically, if you're a celebrity or you're George Dickel, or your Cougar Bourbon out of Australia, or you just want to launch your own whiskey brand, MGP out of Lawrenceburg, Indiana, will produce your American whiskey. Some of it's good. I kind of like the George Dickel rye. I thought it was pretty good. Some of the stuff that comes out of MGP in Indiana is not so good, and also the advertising by the bottlers, the people who uh, market uh, the whiskey made by MGP, sometimes it's kind of skating towards the edge of deceptive because they say stuff like small batch. Okay, getting back to Virginia Black and Drake, another word about this whiskey is it's not bourbon. If you go to their website for Virginia Black, it will say that it is a blend of second, uh, two-year-old, three-year-old, and four-year-old bourbons. So one would assume it's bourbon. But if you look at the packaging, nowhere does it say it's bourbon. Or here, I've already checked, trust me. So it's not bourbon. So if it's a blend of two-year-old, uh, two three-year-old, and four-year-old bourbons, but it's not bourbon, then what is it? It's American whiskey, because it's whiskey, it's distilled, but it's not bourbon. Okay, now, that's gonna lead to another point. Look at that color. It's a clear glass bottle, but boy is it dark for a blend of two, of two, three, and four-year-old bourbons. It's a dark whiskey. And I think it's got a lot of artificial coloring. Artificial coloring E150A is not the end of the world. With this whiskey, I almost think I can taste that artificial coloring. But what scares me is if they won't call it bourbon and they simply call it American whiskey, are they adding anything to uh, modify the flavor? I think they are. Now, let's nose this. Undiluted, it's unrefined. Raw oak, sweet cola, vanilla. But it's not offensive. The nose is not horrible. It's, you know, it's not terrible. Oh, and a word about the alcohol by volume, 40%. And a word about the price, $32 to $40 US. Not cheap, especially when there's a lot of good American whiskey, Tennessee whiskey, and bourbon and Kentucky straight bourbon for about half that price. The nose is okay. Palette. 
undiluted. Sweet caramel. Oak. Chocolate. Sugary butterscotch and A and W root beer. It's candied. It is smooth though. The finish. It's got a real Dr. Pepper cherry Coke, vanilla Coke type finish with a little bit of aspartame. The finish is very short, which is probably a good thing. I don't say this lightly. The finish is cherry coke. And I like cherry coke. And I know cherry coke when I taste it. I almost wonder if they added some cherry coke to this. If I like it and, and I taste it. I really like the diet cherry coke that's currently being marketed by Coke. I guzzle out by the case. So I know cherry coke. And I almost wonder if it's in there. Anyway. Could you add ice to this? Uh, the business partner of Drake, when he's marketing this, when he's in New York City or wherever, and his name is, evades me right now, Eric Hutchins or something like that. I forget his name. He launched uh, De Leon Tequila. So he's a businessman and an astute businessman. He had been a mortgage broker for Countrywide and did very well, then Bank of America, then he left that and got into the spirits business, did very well launching a brand, De Leon uh, Tequila. And now he's partnered with Drake. So, I don't know why I was talking about him. I forget. Anyway. Oh yeah, now I remember. When he's doing his tour, and he's marketing this, as well as Drake, they are pouring it into big tumblers and throwing in a bunch of ice. I did that. I'm not going to make you endure that alcoholic holocaust. Adding ice to this whiskey brings out a lot of alcohol and uh, menthol cigarette notes that are better at our best forgotten and left in your immature teenage years. I don't like Virginia Black. I didn't buy the bottle. My brother, who's a non-drinker, non-smoker, bought it for me recommended by a liquor store employee in Calgary, Alberta. And I always think when a salesman recommends something in a liquor store or a cigar store, watch out, because they're usually recommending something that's not selling well. Maybe this will sell well, but it's not gonna sell well with whiskey enthusiasts. There's something in the flavor profile that tastes synthetic. It, uh, a saccharin, a aspartame cherry coke note to it that is best avoided and forgotten. I know a lot of other people, uh, celebrities have endorsed whiskeys and it's disappointing that Drake has attached his name to this. He's a very talented entertainer and musician and actor, but he really made a mistake uh, endorsing this whiskey, which is reminiscent of a Paco Rabanne uh, cologne bottle and would be best in my medicine cabinet or it would look more fitting there than on uh, in my liquor cabinet. Thank you for your time. Avoid Virginia Black and I'll be back in a couple of weeks with a review of a cognac uh, by great request for it is uh, I've got the bottle Hennessy XO. Got a lot of requests for us, so I went and bought a bottle, and we'll be reviewing that in a week or two. Take care. Cheers.